name is Mallory Albright. I'm the marketing manager here at Sundog and welcome back to another tech tip video. Today we're going to be discussing how to use conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. If you're not already aware, conditional formatting is a powerful tool that allows you to format cells based on certain criteria or conditions. This can be incredibly useful when working with large data sets as it can help you quickly identify important information. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you before we get into conditional formatting is how to format as a table. Um, this is a great way for you to dig through all of that data, but narrow that in to a specific topic or set of numbers that you're looking at without having to do it manually. So real quick here, we're going to go over and I can click on any one of these cell blocks and I'm going to hit control A. And now it created a whole bounding box around my data sheet. So everything's selected that needs to be selected, and I'm going to stay in the home ribbon. And I'm going to go over to the format ta as table. And I'm going to choose whichever one of these styles fits best for me. I'm just going to do this purple one. And it says, where's the data from your table? You get A2 and D24, so that matches up. First row is set that I really need is A2, and the last is D24. And then you'll have the option here to remove and keep headers. You have a little checkbox, and we'll want to keep it for this because it has date, product, region, and amount. So we're going to hit OK. So the next thing, this is what I use on a day to day basis. Um, so I go over to my header section, and you see now that it's purple and that we have uh, a little drop down button. So I'm going to hit the drop down button for region and you see it has everything selected so I'm seeing every single country that's uh, totals and amounts here so I'm going to deselect by just clicking the button next to select all and let's just get the totals for Germany and now it just blocked everything out that wasn't Germany so now I can just look at Germany as a whole but I can keep everything in one Excel sheet so I don't have to go and make 20 based on each country so that's a quick little way to format your tables, but let's get into some conditional formatting. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about for conditional formatting is how to use a three color scale. A three color scale helps you compare a range of cells by using a gradation of three colors. The shades of the color represent higher, middle, or lower values. For example, in a green, yellow and red scale, you can specify that higher value cells have a green color, middle value cells have a yellow color, and the lower value cells have a red. It will all be based on your preferences. So now how do you do a three color scale conditional format? So we want to make sure that we have one or more cells selected in order to apply this. So I'm just going to select all of column D. I'm going to stay in the home ribbon and go all the way over to styles and conditional formatting. You go down from there to color scales and I'm going to choose this first one here. This is green, yellow, red color scale and apply that. Now if we wanted to make sure that these are the rules that we wanted or maybe we wanted to go back and manage these rules, we just have to go back to the conditional formatting section and click on color scales and more rules says format all cells based on their values, format all cells that contain, format only top or bottom, format only that are above or below average, or format only unique or duplicate values, or use a formula to determine which cells to format. It also has edit the rule description, so right now we're at format all cells based on their values, format style a two color scale. Let's change that to a three color scale. So we have the minimum being red, our midpoint being yellow, and our maximum being green. We're gonna hit okay. And now you can see on the side, it definitely did put all of our numbers in the order from highest value to lowest value. So that's a quick way that you can organize your information based off of the highest or lowest value using a three color scale. So the next thing I'm going to show you for conditional formatting is how to get an above or below average on your data sheet. So we're still going to select 
our cells. So I'm going to just stick with column D and I'm going to go back to conditional formatting but instead I'm going to go to the top and bottom rules. You'll see top 10 items, top 10%, top bottom 10 items and bottom 10% and then above and below average. So we're going to do above average and it says for the selected range for above average you're going to be having it as light red fill with dark red text. Well, if it's above average, I think the performance is doing well, so I'm going to change that to be green. Green fill with a dark green text. And you can see the change is applied immediately. If I went back to conditional formatting and top and bottom rules and decided to do the below average, I would want to keep it at light red fill with dark red text so I can see who may not be performing as well. And with that, I have an above and below average. So the next piece of conditional formatting that I'm going to show you is how to do conditional formatting with an icon set. So once again, you're going to select your column or cell, go to conditional formatting, and go to icon sets. You'll choose the image of your choice. I'm going to choose one of these indicators and you can see it automatically applied that rule to our column. But let's say that's not exactly what you wanted and you wanted it to be based more on the value. No worries, just go back to your conditional formatting, go to icon sets, down to more rules, and from there you have format all cells based on their values. It has format style, icon sets, icon style. Go make sure that you have the image that you want, otherwise you'll have to go back and change that later. And now you can change, display each icon according to the rules. So when is when it is greater than or less than a certain number, or when it's greater than or lesser than another number, will indicate which icon goes where. Next to the value, you have your greater and lesser than or equal to um, options, and you have the choice to change from number to percent formula and percentile. I'm going to change these to number. I'm going to put 500 in this one, and I'm going to do 100 in this one, and I'm going to hit OK. And now that automatically applied my new rules to the uh, set of data that I had selected. So that's how you can do a conditional format with icon sets, and you can change those values at any time. So go ahead and give it a try. Let's say that you have a massive data sheet and it has tons of conditional formatting that you're trying to look for and you don't know where to start. Um, stay in your home ribbon and go all the way over to the editing section and click on the find and select. There's an actual conditional formatting section and if you click on that it will automatically highlight any cell that has some kind of conditional formatting to it. So hopefully that search is a little bit easier for you um, so you can find what you're needing faster. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how you can copy and paste the formatting that you have on a column to other columns without having to go through the same process of changing everything. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to select my column E because um, I added in column D for an example and I'm going to stay in my home ribbon and click on the format painter. You'll now see a little plus sign with the paintbrush and all I gotta do is select the column that I want and now it automatically applied to those same conditions that I had in column E to column D. Now you can simply copy and paste that conditional formatting. Now if you want to get rid of any conditional formatting all you gotta do is go back to your conditional formatting section and click clear rules. You can clear the rules from the selected cells or you can do it from the entire sheet. And for this case, I'll just clear it from the entire sheet. And like that, it's gone. So the last thing I'm going to be showing you today in regards to conditional formatting is how you can manage all of the rules that you've applied or at least where to go and find to do that. So make sure you've got some got your cells selected, go to conditional formatting and go to manage rules at the very bottom. Now it will show every rule that you have applied to those columns. So 
I have a couple things based off of what we've done in the past. We have greedy, color scale, above and below, below average, and the icon sets. So I'm going to go through and I'm actually going to delete these rules that I'm not using. So I'm going to delete that one, that one, that one, and I'm going to delete the, these. So now I'm only down to the two. You can always duplicate the rule. You could go in right here and edit the rule um, or create a new rule. And I'm going to hit OK. And that rule has been applied. Thanks again for tuning in to this week's Tech Tip video. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.